very juicy, like there's bootlegging involved. I just pray that they resolve this, they find him. We doctored it up with some duct tape. She's like, we're gonna make this happen. I was influenced. Welcome to a cozy, rainy, dreary day. Yay, I love it. I'm trying to get out the door here for church, but we're having church in the woods today. It's our annual church camping, and we were not able to come because Josh was playing a ball tournament yesterday, but we're coming for church this morning. Anyway, I'm getting dressed. Notebook, Hosanna Revival Bible. Haven't spent anything yet today, um, and I probably won't on Sunday. I usually don't, but that remains to be seen. Um, I always feel very vulnerable when I show you guys what I spend in a week, but it's time to do it again. It's good to keep myself accountable, give myself a little life audit, but we'll talk about all that later. I gotta get out the door. I was supposed to bring three pans of a dessert today for lunch. After church today, we were gonna be having, I think it's a taco salad bar or something. Anyway, I opted for my frosty... Are you sneaking around in the background? <laughs> you can just do your thing. We gotta get out the door here. Um, I brought my frosty dessert recipe that I usually make in individual cups, but I made it in big sheet pans this time. And instead of Oreos, I did Chip Ahoy's and it tastes so good. I'm so excited. So I could not even store that in my freezers. Our freezers are full of meat right now. We have a quarter of a beef or maybe even half a beef and just a lot of other things, Sam's Club stuff. So anyway, we have to go to the farm get it out of my mom's big freezer and hit the road. You didn't get milk from milk, right? No, I did not. Did you find the chips? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Ooh, oh, bowl. What are you wearing? Are you gonna be hot? It feels nice out there. Okay. I love this outfit. He wore it for family pictures. What, Express, right? I think everything's through no Express, yeah. yeah. Here's my little OOTD, very simple, flowy, nice transition into fall. Very breezy and comfy and great to deal with like a tiny bump. <laughs> I never know how to dress since I'm like 18 weeks pregnant. hours three hours of the week honestly Sunday afternoons <laughs> I just made myself an iced maple latte it's pretty much the basic thing but I brewed my shot over some Hershey chocolate bars and I used some homemade pumpkin whip topping that I had in the fridge I shared it on Instagram I'll need to make sure that I share it here on YouTube at some point as well it's really easy to make and it's so good the perfect amount of pumpkin not over the top but pumpkin and mocha together winning combination. Anyway, before I tell you why this is my favorite time of the day, let's recap this morning a little bit. It went off without a hitch. 
Um, I had one pan of leftover dessert, so that was good. And another girl sent me home with a watermelon, so that's really fun. And I got some leftover rice to take home too. We had like chipotle bowls, it was super good. We had some kind of marinated chicken, amazing. Yeah, and so got to talk to a lot of different people that were sitting at our table and church went really well. He talked about, are you a hand lifter upper or a hand tear downer? Yeah, basically encouraging and helping people and getting beneath the surface, not just talking about the surface level stuff like us moms are sometimes really good at doing, but getting into the heart issues and just helping each other out in our struggles in life. And yeah, I have not spent any money yet today. I will sometimes spend money on Sundays. Um, if you're not familiar, I'm a Mennonite and I'm also a mom of three kids if you're new here, but um, we don't traditionally spend money on Sundays. My family, I grew up never going out to eat. Josh and I, we don't go out to eat on Sundays really either unless we're on vacation or there's like a special need or something. But I will sometimes do my online shopping. I'll save it for Sunday afternoons. It's so relaxing because it's so much research. Like you wanna look up all the different prices and different places and I just wanna be unhurried. And Sunday afternoons are for just that, being unhurried. I'll either go on like a walk or a run or I'll do this cozy little sit down here or some of both sometimes. But Josh is out doing, he's gonna walk nine holes before the Eagles play tonight at four o'clock I think it is. First game of the season, so that's exciting. It means fall is here. I'm so excited. But on my agenda for this afternoon is to, normally I will like paint my nails. I have not painted my nails all summer and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna start now. I don't know. I just, they're so no fuss when you don't paint them, but they're also a little weaker and more prone to breaking if I don't. Um, so I don't know, I, I stick to like clear and pale pink and stuff like that. So it's not a huge difference, but I don't know, we'll see how long the streak goes. It's been over three months and I haven't painted my nails, so. Anyway, not doing that. And I don't really have any online shopping I need to do today. I have my planner here, because I'm gonna do some planning. I have my laptop here. I am tossing around a t-shirt design. Actually, probably more of like a pullover design um, for my Fox Bear line. I design a lot of shirts that never go into production, but it's, it's a fun thing to do. I might do that later on while the football game is on, you know, all the commercials and everything. By the way, the kids are napping. That's why I can have this peaceful, quiet time. Um, so I'll do some planning and then I have some books. Let me show you what's on deck for my books. I feel like we're entering cozy fall reading season and I was the world's biggest bookworm, I would say, until I was at least 15, 16, and then life picked up and I've just not been a big reader since. I love audiobooks and I love reading. I just really struggle to make the time for it. But I picked up two cookbooks at the library that I'm excited to look at. This is the outdoor table and it's still like hosting season. Did you guys know you can read a cookbook? <laughs> I do it, I do it. And here's another one I got, The Great British Baking Show. Gives me good ideas for like garnishes and stuff. Look at this. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, it just puts me in the mood for the season. I don't know, it'll just be fun to look through. A complete waste of time, but this is the only time of the week I give myself permission to waste time, so I'm all on board for that. Also, I'm slowly working my way through hard is not the same thing as bad. I will link this down below in my Amazon storefront, but I like to savor books like this and really think through them. And I highly recommend getting the real hard copy version because it's so pretty. And I love thrift books and places like that. I got this one from Mastoff, maybe it was called. This is a story of my great, great grandma. I think that's right. Yes, it's my grandma's mom's mom. So my great, great grandma, it's true. It's written by Romaine Stauffer. She is a very well-known Mennonite author. This book, she's a big one. <laughs> but I've already read this book. It may surprise you. I've already read this book three times. It's a story of my heritage and it all happened locally to me. And it's very juicy. Like there's bootlegging involved and like possibly um, I think a barn burns down and they don't know. It's like kind of sketchy. How come it burned down? Um, my great great grandpa was like a big tobacco farmer, which like tobacco was a huge thing among the Mennonites back in the day. And it still is in some sex not that necessarily they smoke it but that they would grow it and everything so it's just very fascinating i'll leave my opinions out of that but yeah there's pictures in here and so i was just like i want to work my way through this again it might take me a while but i kind of already know the basic framework of the book so i can pick it up and set it down anyway that's the books that are on deck right now i'd love to hear what you guys are into what do you read do you read <laughs> I am a wannabe reader, let's just put it that way. <laughs> like I love the idea, but how much of this is actually gonna get read? Who knows? Also, guys, this cup is from Dollar Tree. 
don't sleep on Dollar Tree. You gotta check it out when you're there next time. I think I'm actually going there Tuesday maybe this week, so we'll see what we get. Anyway, speaking of prices and money, I would say our financial goals right now as a, my husband works away from home and then I have my social media business and Fox Sparrow and everything. So pretty much right now, we're just trying to stockpile for the future for our children's educations. We send them to a private Mennonite Christian school, which is a pretty decent chunk of money every year. And the more kids you have, the more it multiplies. And so that just looks kind of daunting right now. And so that's kind of one of our financial goals. And I would say us Mennonites come from a very long line of like hard work, and maybe more the Dave Ramsey approach of like not debt, that kind of thing. Um, you know, a mortgage and stuff, but that's it. And so we are not necessarily in that camp. Like we do have credit cards, we use them wisely, we always pay them off at the end of the month. And we love to have those points and do things with those, get those credits back. And uh, yeah, it's a way to make your, basically we're the credit cards company's worst nightmare. We're not, we're not great profits for them. And then as far as like financing, um, we believe in making our money work for you. So even though I don't know a lot about the stock market and things like that, we have definitely delved into investing in like property and things like that, some rental properties and things. But yeah, without giving out too many specifics, that's kind of our financial goals. I know we're all in different places. Maybe you are looking to save up to buy your first home, um, which is very exciting too. Maybe you're a one income household, two income household. Let me know down below if you'd like to know how we transitioned from a two income household to a one income household because we did do that. And we were a one income household for about a year, I would say. And then that's when YouTube started picking up and we started getting an unpredictable, but yet kind of consistent, you know, paycheck from YouTube AdSense and then sponsorships came after that and kind of that kind of thing. So I do remember those days, they're not that far away at all. And I do remember some of the scariness that went into me quitting, but at the same time, we had always planned for that to happen. We always knew that I was gonna be a stay-at-home mom. Part of that is just our heritage, our culture, and part of that is just um, our preferences too. So anyway, I thought before we get too deep into the video, it might be good to talk about um, just mine and Josh's view on finances and money and that type of thing. And I will say, these videos are very vulnerable and we all have expendable income to some extent. Some of us, it might be a couple dollars a week. Some of us, it might be so much that we just don't really think twice as the money leaves our hands. But it's very interesting to see how other people use their play money, I guess you could say, or like, you know, I went and bought this book. I didn't need it. I could have maybe borrowed, my mom has this copy, but I wanted to have it for myself since I've already read it three times. Like I have a friend who, they would never spend money on trips very often at all, but they go out to eat a lot. They're like foodies, they're into that. I have another friend who um, they travel a lot um, and that's where they spend their money. And so it's just easy to make judgments on people's lifestyles and incomes and all of that without knowing the full picture and without taking into account, we all have different priorities, different goals. And yeah, I think there's two ways of going about life. You can look ahead and see the expenses that are coming which we can't see them all. Obviously there's scary medical bills that pop up and things like that, but you know, you can look ahead and kind of predict the expenses that are coming and you can live as tight and as miserably as possible to try to reach those goals sooner. Or you can slow the savings down a little bit and enjoy the finer things of life here and there. And you can turn that faucet, you know, stronger and stronger and stronger and just like be living in the moment and having all the things right now and just not getting to your goal very fast at all. And so I do believe the Bible speaks about money a lot. Actually, I think it's like the second most talked about topic. And so we know that God cares about our finances and financial freedom and helping others, but not being too caught up in it. And I think this video would be a great video to do in partnership with a Q&A about money, which we did. My cousin and I, Jaina, we did a podcast about Mennonites and money. And we're there we talked a lot more about our mindset and like practical things, um, ways we've seen it fleshed out. And so I will link that video down below. I don't know, I enjoy that topic. I don't know why. I work hard, I enjoy business, I enjoy like, I could talk about logos and typography and just starting a brand. I just think it's so fun.
Good morning. Happy Monday. So didn't spend any money yesterday, but it's going to be a little bit of a different story today. On my list today was one to clean up from the weekend. Check. I already have the laundry in the dryer. The kids ate breakfast. I cleaned that up and oh, which reminds me. I have to wash dishes now all the time, every meal. I spend probably an hour a day washing dishes. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not fast at it. I'm out of practice. I don't know. Between washing them and putting them away, I don't even dry them. I just let them air dry. It takes me forever throughout the day. So anyway, I'm not one of those people that likes dishes in their sink. And I'm about to bake breadsticks. Um, and whenever I'm cooking or baking in the kitchen, I like to start out with a clean slate. I don't like to cook in the mess. But anyway, so that's all done. And now the only two things left on my list are one, I need to bake breadsticks because tonight two of my friends, my last high school friends are turning 30 and we're celebrating them tonight. Anyway, and then the other thing on my list is to drive around and do a little scavenger hunt here in Lancaster County to try to find some roadside stands with some flowers because we have no flowers for our centerpiece tonight and nobody else has wildflowers growing in their backyard right now. So I'm gonna take it all myself to see what we can find. I live in a pretty good area. I think I'll be able to find something. Pretty much all that's on my list today, besides killing, there's a fly. Oh, there's a fly around here somewhere and I keep trying to kill it. I've been running around like a crazy lady with this bat, <laughs> with this like tennis racket trying to fry it. I think I'm just gonna have to go get a piece of rolled up newspaper and try it that way. But anyway, I cannot tell you how happy it makes me to see my tea towel in my kitchen matching my pillow over in the living room. It's just like, a little sprinkle of fall floral. It makes me so happy. It's the little things, right? Okay, calling all non-bread bakers. This is the recipe for you. It is so easy and very foolproof. Just try to make sure your water isn't piping hot. And other than that, it's it's really gonna work for you. It foams up really nicely. And honestly, I've never flopped these. They're really easy to work with too. You don't have to worry about adding too much extra flour to work the dough or like, there's not a lot of science involved. It's super easy and impressive, especially when you assemble them and twist them into breadsticks. Why does it make me so happy that my dirty dishes are pretty? <laughs> oh, buy the pretty things. I don't know. I love all these mint colors. I think a breadsticks is more of a winter thing, but when you make them in the summer and you can use fresh herbs, it's just 20 times as good. And I'm just mixing Parmesan cheese, some garlic infused olive oil with my herbs in a jar, shaking it up and using that to top our breadsticks once they come out of the oven. And I'm doing this now because I was just waiting for the dough to rise, so might as well get something done. Also wash the dishes, you know, gotta be productive. Okay, I would say this is about doubled. Look at that texture. So nice, I love this dough. It's just so easy to work with. I don't even know if I'm gonna flour my, flour my surface. I think I'm just gonna dump the leftovers out from the bowl. Now, you're gonna have to do a little bit of math, but you're having one hunk of dough that you wanna divide into 12 pieces. So this is how I do it. I'll divide it into thirds, and then I'll divide each of those pieces into halves, and then I'll take each of those six blobs and divide those in half. So that makes 12. So you can do it however you want, but you wanna get each piece about even. And if it's not exactly right, you can kind of you know, pinch a piece off here or there. You could really get technical and get out of scales, but <laughs> that's not the kind of girl I am. And then you just wanna roll it out like you're making pretzels and then pinch the tops together and twist at the bottom. And voila, there you have a pretty impressive looking breadstick. They do kind of unfurl as they sit there and rise again till double. So you might have to just like retouch them up a little bit before you put them in the oven. And then you spread them with your concoction. You could use butter instead of olive oil really customize this however you want. I've already mixed pepperoni in with the bread dough. It's There's so many different ways you can do this, but it's super pretty and I can't wait to feed these to my friends tonight. Fletcher, do you see what I see out the window? Yeah. Do you think we should get them? Do they look pretty? Found some flowers. Oh no. 
Okay, we just got back and I will put on screen what I spent. Also, I just remembered I promised to bring Parmesan cheese, which I do not have. So I'm gonna have to stop on the way and then greet it at her house. So I'll put that on screen too, what I ended up spending. That's just like the norm for me. Spending money on food is just like <laughs> the biggest genre for sure. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out what to wear tonight. It's a party and I love to dress up, but I was like, is it too, it's actually pretty warm this evening and we're outside on a patio. So I have this midi skirt that I thought could be cute. I could wear these braided heels. I wonder if I threw like this on to add some more. No, way too much fabric. No, 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 no. <laughs> this back view, not for me. Colors work maybe, but no. Okay, not that. Okay, what if I do this? This, I like the silhouette better. This is like a crop top that I like to hike the skirt up. That's cute and girly and very, very comfortable. Um, I'll probably need to put a shirt on underneath because I feel like if I reach up, I'll be worried about showing skin. I don't know. I definitely don't feel slender by any means, but I love this skirt. It's such a pretty like winter slash fall floral. I wear it in the summer too, but yeah. I don't know. I love dressing up though. Like, <laughs> hang on. At the end of the day, I feel like there's nothing more flattering than a dress. Okay, I'm gonna need a tank top here. All the bending over and setting up is not gonna work. Um, but it's just so, I like I feel tall. I actually feel half slender. I feel like this hides whatever's going on here which I shouldn't be hiding it, I guess, but like very soon I will be accentuating it. But for now it's like not really a bump yet. So what's the point, right? I don't know. Is it too dressy? I think it's really pretty for fall. By the way, all the other pieces I was just showing you were from Inherit. I have a link down below. You can always get 10% off. These shoes are from Amazon. This dress is from the Main Street Exchange. I love the, oh my goodness, okay. I definitely feel the prettiest in this option. This dress is so perfect for early fall because it has like still the short sleeves yet for summertime. I think this is the winner. I just need to put a tank top on underneath. The V is a little low. Never mind. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a cute creative outfit and at the end of the day, a dress is just, just the perfect option. Throw it on and be good to go. Okay, we are getting ready to head out the door here. My sister has been over this morning helping me out with just housekeeping and watching the kids while I get work done. Sorry. We're about to leave and go to Dollar Tree. I have a couple things that I wanna get here, but I wanted to talk to you guys quick before I got the boys in here. I really don't want them to hear what I'm gonna say, but I have just been on edge this morning. So there is a convicted murderer that escaped a prison just in the next county over. He's been loose for days and days. Josh drove over to that county today to set up the donut trailer and he headed right back again. Everything was closed down. They were gonna be parked at a Lowe's and the Lowe's was shutting down. I guess they moved the perimeter of where the guy was. I don't know, he's like on the loose. He was just convicted to life in prison. So he's like, <laughs> what are the boys doing? Hopefully I can update you that they catch him, but I just feel like I don't even wanna be outside. Like where is he? And I know he's not even that close to me, but He's close enough. Anyway, I just feel on edge. I'm so glad Josh got back safely and everything. I was like, what if they hijack your truck? He's and Josh is like, well, he would be dumb to do that with a trailer on the back. I just pray that they resolve this. They find him. And I just feel really bad for all the schools that are shut down down there and the businesses. And it, oh, it's like a stark cloud. But 
Anyway, we are going to go to Dollar Tree here. I need to get some birthday stuff for Ivani. Tomorrow's her birthday, and I like to decorate our chandelier light thing in our kitchen with streamers, so we need to get streamers. I need to find party hats to put her little snack mix in that she's going to give out to her friends tomorrow at school. I ordered party hats on Amazon, and they're huge. I'm not going to give the kids enough snack mix to fill those up, so either we're going to use those and just fill them half full or find smaller ones here at Dollar Tree. Also, I need wrapping paper to wrap her gifts, which I'll show you later, but I have a DIY I want to do with my sisters and mom this weekend when we go to the cabin. I found this reel here on Instagram, and I thought it looked so cute, and so I already ordered the stamps. These are from Amazon, and now I need to go find some just like white tea towels, like those bar cloth hand towel things. And I remember buying them at Dollar Tree before, so hopefully they're not fighting. They're playing together. There's, you know, the ball and the string that goes down from the ceiling to tell you if you pulled your car in far enough. They are batting at it. So anyway, with, with tennis rackets. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Anyway, I want to try that DIY and I think it's going to look really good. I just need to find some tea towels to put this stuff on. So we'll see if it works out. Okay, I have been busy. <laughs> I decorated the light back here. I do this every birthday for the kids. So it's just colorful, balloons, whatever. Um, as far as birthday presents, so I found Ivani a thrifted fuzzy chair for her bedroom. We're gonna be redoing her bedroom this fall slash winter. And I was very happy with it. Um, it was brand new looking. And I think I paid $39 for it, but then I got it for free because I had money from doing consigning there. So in here is actually a penny bank slash decor piece where she can store like any coins she earns or dollars and things like that. I actually want to open a savings account for her because she does have enough money for that now and I think she's old enough to like kind of get the concept. But anyway, that's going to go in her room as well but also be very functional. And then these two items, this one I had to get right now because it's still hot out and it will be pointless to get it for her at Christmas time but she's a redhead. She gets so hot. And so I got her a little neck fan from Amazon. She should, she really should have had this all summer. So I don't know, we'll let her use it. And then when it gets cooler, I'll have to put it away and she'll have it for next summer. Redheads, it's a whole nother level. <laughs> I remember as a kid though too, I couldn't sweat. So I would just get super hot and red and pulsating in my face. And then this last large box in there is a sleeping bag. There's a lot of different options out there for sleeping bags. I ended up going with the more expensive $39.99 one because I wanted one that she can grow into. I had a sleeping bag that I had for all my years too. And I had an X of duct tape down towards the bottom because one night I slept and I put my feet up against the nightlight and it melted a hole in the sleeping bag. But we doctored it up with some duct tape and it was all good again. So anyway, I picked the color that I thought she would like the best. I wanted to get one for Fletcher too. So this was originally going to be a Christmas present, but with us going to the cabin this weekend, I was like, it's too perfect. I'll give it to her on Wednesday and then she can use it Friday night already. I feel like if you don't have a chance to use a present really quickly, that's so disappointing. So anyway, that's her birthday present this year. I did buy all of this last week. So I don't know, I guess I'll still include it in today's haul because I did spend it. It arrived yesterday. So yeah, there you go. That's, that's the birthday haul. Good morning. So yesterday's total was pretty high. I didn't tally it all up yet, but I have to put it on the screen. We actually had the repair guy come to look at our ice machine. We don't really need, need that ice machine anymore. It was for when Josh had his construction business. But we're like, if we want to sell it, it has to be working first. So anyway, we're trying to get that figured out. It's going to be about $200 if we decide to get the replacement part. I don't know. We'll see if that all happens or not. And then all of Ivani's birthday stuff and Dollar Tree. And then last night, Jana came over. And so you have to watch last week's video if you wanted to see what we did there. But we installed wallpaper for our podcast backdrop. And it looks so good. I'm very excited. Um, it was pretty frustrating at first. But once we figured it out, it, I think it looks great. Except I feel like there's still some seaming. Like you can see where the seams are. So I don't know, hopefully that won't show up on camera. Josh did a lot of it, but we did a lot of brainstorming and stuff while she was here. So that was great. And then this morning I got up and got the boys up and we went into school and handed out Ivani's birthday snacks. Today marks six years. At 1.38 this morning, I was became a mom for the first time. And so I'm feeling all the feels today. <laughs> I, she's still six though. Like she's not 16. She still wants to hang out with mom. Like I'm still thankful that she's still so little, but my oldest is six. That definitely feels like her family is aging, you know, with her. So anyway, we just got back and I did the dishes since our dishwasher is broken. Did I mention appliance repairs in here? <laughs> anyway, I actually think they're getting us a new dishwasher and that might not cost us any money at all. 
stay tuned. The week's not over yet. I'll have to let you know. <sighs> but yeah, we're gonna go to the library for our story time with my nephews. And it's turning out to be a beautiful day. The sun is shining. You can see the blue skies here behind me. And yeah, it was supposed to rain all day. So we decided we're gonna do the library story hour out in the yard and do the little story walk. I wanted to show you this top before we left. I love this look. Um, it's almost like a linen-y look. I have a couple different ones cut like this. And it's not for everybody's body type, but I love it. Um, there is a belly bump, baby bump under there, but it, you know, you really can't see it that much. Um, I feel like, yeah, it's just really nice for this time and this season. And as I get bigger, I think it'll still look cute um, because it fits nicely here at the bust. So I will have to link it if it's still available. And on a way more serious note, the World Trade Center attack anniversary was, you know, two days ago. And so I've been watching, I was in second, third grade when it happened. So my understanding of the colossal effects of it and everything was pretty small. Um, and watching it 20 some years later, 22 years later, is just like, wow, epic. So I've been like listening to firsthand accounts and survivor stories while I was washing dishes here and stuff. What a crazy day. I think we all, if you're my age or older, can remember <laughs> where you were on that Tuesday, September. 22 years ago and anyway i know there's still families out there affected by it to this day so many yeah it's just like a very heavy thought um and i don't really enjoy it but it's like good for me to listen to and it's real history <sighs> anyway i might have to check out like an audio book of like a memoir or something like that it's crazy crazy stuff anyway the boys are getting their shoes on we we need to leave Good job. Bubbles. Yeah, you all have a book. Okay, I'm back and I'm at home by myself. It's such a weird feeling, but my mom is watching the boys for the next like hour and a half so I can get some work done. I feel so behind because this weekend we're going to the cabin so I can't work at all on Friday or Saturday. And I have a pretty long video I'm working on right now. I'm sure you guys have seen it already. It's my fall reset. Anyway, I pulled salmon and shrimp out of the freezer because Ivani wanted salmon, shrimp, and couscous for her birthday supper. And Josh is like, we're gonna make this happen. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it's been a while. So I had to stop at the produce stand to get lemons because I didn't have any lemons to go with our salmon. And I ended up spending like $14 because I was like, I'm just gonna make myself a quick salad for lunch. That was $3.20. And I have leftover breadsticks in the fridge from the birthday party, so I could add that to it if I'm still hungry. But I have this balsamic vinaigrette from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna try with it. Um, I got a bunch of little cucumbers to make pickles. Bonnie is a pickle girl. And then our, her birthday cake is gonna be up at the cabin. But I was like, she still needs a candle to blow out. And I actually put a candle in her pancakes this morning. But I just picked up a little shoe fly pie, chocolate shoe fly pie that was on their discount table. So we can stick a candle in there, maybe. She'll want six, but we'll do one. <laughs> and she can blow that out, so that'll be good. Anyway, I'm gonna get this stuff put away, eat my salad, and get to working on a thumbnail and editing that video because an hour and a half flies past so quickly. people the best <laughs> we just went to the grocery store this morning I actually got up um, with the boys and I realized I had no milk so I couldn't make them baked oatmeal couldn't make them cereal anyway I need to go for groceries today anyway but we kind of did a reverse day normally we do our errand running after all of our housework and stuff. today we went out first thing and got all of our stuff and that grocery store is so fun it's local and they have a playground so after we we're doing grocery shopping the kids played on their playground and I sat there and kind of like plan out my battle strategy for the day because it's super busy. I just have to get a lot done. But anyway, that grocery store is always known, like they have a shuttle that goes from the retirement home close by over there and they have a, they employ a lot of like handicapped or like older people and so they just love kids and I don't know, it's so sweet. So uh, I love that grocery store. And I actually used to work in a retirement home in the kitchen. We would like prepare all the food and stuff for the old folks at the uh, retirement home. 
And so I've always enjoyed it. <laughs> the worst part is that you have to talk slower and I'm, that's not my biggest strength, if you know me at all. Anyway, but now we're home again and I w literally went back out to the van to look if I'd forgotten a grocery bag because when I looked at my grocery haul and I realized it was $76.03, I was sure I'd forgotten a bag out in the car because I hardly got anything. But when you are bringing a breakfast, I'm bringing a breakfast to the cabin this weekend and you're bringing like orange juice and chocolate milk, that's like five bucks right there. Oh my word, speaking of money, they had their pumpkins out. And so two years ago, I spent $50 on pumpkins for my front porch. I like to do like a couple different stacks and whatever, make it look cute with some crates and things. Last year, I spent $70 unintentionally, but that's what it ended up being. This year, it looks like $70 would buy me seven pumpkins. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to go. I never buy them at that grocery store. It's not the cheapest place. Um, I will be going down south towards Amish country maybe, or I found a new place last year where I got some really good priced pumpkins. So anyway, I don't know how much we'll really get on our porch this year, but I always told Josh I'd rather, pumpkins to me are like flower bouquets. Like I just think they're so pretty. I just love putting all the colors together and I don't know how many pumpkins will really do this year. I'm not sure if I'm gonna prioritize that or not. Um, there's some other things. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. But right now, on my to-do list is I'm waiting for the laundry to dry so that all the kids' clothes are washed so I can pack all their clothes today. This is only Thursday, but tomorrow, I'm not gonna have time for it, you'll see. And I also went to get my food prep done. I got all the rest of the ingredients. We already are planning on doing breakfast sandwiches. And last night, I was laying in bed and I decided I'm gonna make some bougie coffee shop breakfast sandwiches, or at least have the options there for people to make those. So I bought spinach to put on there with your bacon, eggs, and cheddar cheese, and I'm making a sriracha mayo, mayo right now. The one coffee shop I go to um, has the best breakfast sandwich and they put sriracha mayo on their sandwich. So I just did a cup of mayo, two teaspoons paprika, uh, and two teaspoons sriracha. So it's, let's see how spicy it is. It's not spicy at all. I need to add more sriracha. Oh, two teaspoons sriracha, so I need to do four. Okay, <laughs> talking to you guys distracts me. One, two more. Okay, that'll make it a little more flavorful. But yeah, this with some greasy bacon and I have avocado, I have spinach. My brother and my brothers-in-law are not gonna be impressed. <laughs> They're gonna make the traditional ones with their ketchup and everything, but I'm excited. Bald eagle? Oh, mine. Let's go look. <laughs> there? Over there. What are you doing with the hot dog fork? Are you guys having a campfire? Are you practicing for the cabin? Uh -oh. What do you see? Uh -oh. I don't see a bald eagle. Sorry, guys. You missed. Oh, wait, over there. Oh, my word. It might be. I don't think I see a white head, though. <gasps> Is it? No, it's a vulture. It must have found something dead. There must be like a dead bunny laying in the woods. Aw, it's just one. Yeah, they're not near as bye exciting. Bye-bye. Bye-bye? Yeah, it weren't bye-bye. Oh, I actually saw another one that was bald eagle. Okay, had a white head? Yeah. Okay, do you need to water your plants or did it rain last night? Did it rain last night? I think you can water them tomorrow. I think we're good today. Bye! I went and sliced up all the cucumbers I bought earlier and turned them into refrigerator dill pickles. And I'm going to add some cloves of garlic. You know, you would think these would last like, what, a month? Not in this household. We are all pickle monsters. <laughs> now I'm up here just sorting out the laundry and putting everything away so I can start the packing process. But I did wanna say that whenever we have like a cabin weekend and I'm in charge of a big meal for a bunch of people, it feels like we pretty much always blow our grocery budget, which is like $100. I also have meat in my freezer and stuff, so it's it's very rough estimate. But you know, it's like you spend all your money on your meals and your snacks and stuff for camping or the cabin, and so then this coming week, I will not do a grocery shopping trip. I got the gallon of milk. I have bread. I'll run out to the produce stand if I need to fill in with anything fresh, and then we're just gonna eat whatever we have in our freezer. We always have green beans, we always have meat in the freezer, and so we will not starve, it'll be fine. It's just, I'm not gonna be able to maybe make things I'm craving. We'll just have like, you know, baked potatoes and sloppy joes and like whatever we happen to have around. And it's good for me to do this whenever we have camping and stuff like that, because it gets the fridge cleaned out better and you start eating some of the stuff out of your freezer, which is a good thing. <laughs> I just
just got to Bible study. I'm actually in charge tonight. There's six of us ladies that go through this book right here. Having a merry heart in a Martha world. I definitely identify as a Martha. I like to be busy. Today's lesson is Martha's teachable heart and it's about just having a teachable spirit. We always get together at a coffee shop usually unless it's like super nice out which it is this evening but I think it's nice to go to a coffee shop because so many of the moms enjoy getting supper. What's really odd is that I already had a girls night this week and now I'm having another one and I never that never happens hardly ever and I feel guilty I don't know why I'm confessing this to you but I haven't worked worked like edited on my laptop in a coffee shop for probably a month and a half two months tomorrow morning josh is going to stay home and get ready for the cabin and all of that and i'm gonna go to a coffee shop and finish up a video um for some reason my videos lately have been getting long i think it's because of the topics that i'm choosing and i just like to chat i think that's my problem too but anyway so when they're longer they take longer to edit so he's gonna watch the kids and get some stuff done i already did most of the packing just need to do the perishables from the fridge and that kind of thing so i'm gonna enjoy another coffee shop morning tomorrow which is super i'm excited about it um i'm also gonna pick up coffee from there and get some donuts so there will be some spending tomorrow as well and again why is it always on food also, I saw that as I was driving over here, my Amazon delivery of a Bona Mop got delivered. It's not Bona brand. I was influenced. My friends were talking about mops at the birthday party on Monday night, and I right then and there ordered one. And the ones I was looking for, like the water mops, like you squirt and then the water comes out and then you mop it up right away. The ones that I was recommended were purple and green. I was like, okay, no, no, no. So I typed in aesthetic bone mop and this is what came up and it's way cuter so I can't wait to see it when I get home it's white it won't give me a jump scare when I open my <laughs> when I open my closet Okay, I just spent $41. That was on a breakfast sandwich, a vanilla ice latte, and two bags of coffee grounds for this weekend. Holland Coffee Co. has some really good coffee grounds. So they ground them for me and everything, so I don't even have to go home and do that. So it's super nice. This is a Guatemala one. It says it has a chocolate taste. And then their Main Street one is like a blend of Brazilian, Guatemalan, and Sumatran beans. So I'm excited. Anyway, this outfit I wore today to come edit. By the way, I had so much fun. Like, I know I was working and like making money and everything, but that could be my hobby. It is my hobby. I enjoy it so much. Um, I just happened to turn it into like a business or God did whatever you guys did. <laughs> so fun. Enjoyed the hustle and bustle of the coffee shop, people coming in and out, and I got my video done and I'm loving it. Go watch my fall reset. If you have not, it's up already. If you guys remember when I was trying on the skirt for the birthday party, I felt not good in it but this outfit today for some reason i love it i feel way more confident in it with this top and i don't know it's just perfect the nike sneakers too yeah i'm gonna have to remember this one until i get a little bit larger um i feel like once i have an actual bump pulling it up isn't gonna be as cute i don't know we'll see but yeah there's your reminder to don't give up if you have a piece of clothing you really like you might just need to figure out a better combination so Anyway, I need to stop at Achenbox and get, yes, that's the last name around here, I guess, um, and get their long johns, which are like long donuts to take up to the cabin um, for our breakfast. I could bake, but honestly, everybody loves a good donut with their coffee. So I'm going to stop in there and get those. I'll put that total on the screen here as well. And then, yeah, I'm going to head home and pack up and we're going to try to pick Ivani up in the carpool lane right after school's out and head up to the cabin with my family. So I'll see you guys there. Then it was off to our family cabin trip. We do this once a year with my family and it's always so much fun. Grandkids everywhere, okay, not really, but 
They're all very close in age, so it feels like a lot. And this cabin this year was only an hour and a half away, so that was really nice. My brother and sister-in-law made smash taco breakfast sandwiches. That was really good. And then our breakfast, we did breakfast sandwiches again, like I had talked about earlier. And here in this clip, I'm showing you how there's a rule in our family that you have to have a white vehicle. <laughs> Not really, but for some reason, my dad always had a white truck, and now I'm married to a guy with a white truck. Everybody has white vehicles. I don't know, we look like some kind of cult or something. <laughs> and the one day we went biking Saturday morning and it was super fun, all different ages, something we can do together and all enjoy it. And there was horses on the trail, which was a fun surprise. And Josh somehow got himself stuck up on the zip line that was at our cabin. Praise God it was him and not any of the little children. He just went on it first to see what it was like. And luckily we had a dad testing it out first. My children were very concerned for him up there. And it was about a 15 foot drop from where he was. So we did end up getting him rescued. It was hilarious. He said, oh, just leave me up here. It's peaceful and quiet. <laughs> um, but dad and my brother ended up rescuing him with the truck and the ladder. Our lunch for Saturday was just a hodgepodge. We kind of all planned to bring things to donate to the pile and it was super good. Of course, we had to make iced coffees for everybody. And we had fun at testing out different brews. We tried Stoke cold brew and the Mama Java coffee beans that I used to make my cold brew. And it, yeah, it was just fun trying out different combinations. We used to have iced coffee time when the kids went down for naps, but now these big kids who are like five years old think they don't need a nap. So <laughs> we still get them to do quiet time. And here I'm showing you that craft that I talked about. This was very fun. Even the children wanted to get in on it. So I kind of had wished that I'd got in some kid friendlier or like just more kid appealing stamps for them to use but since I had a few extra flower sack fish towels along we did let the girls work on them later and so yeah I could definitely recommend this craft to all ages of course we had a lot of campfire time just hanging out by the fire these little boys just woke up from their naps can you tell <laughs> they're all bug-eyed and I don't know about you guys but I feel like in my family the guys bond over like sports and funny reels and I don't know stuff on their phones and us girls, me and my sister, were both reading the same book, and so we were chatting about that. And this was just a nice, relaxing afternoon with a beautiful, beautiful view over the valley. That evening we went to a park, and then after we got back, we celebrated Ivani's birthday. We were gonna do a treasure hunt with the stuff that I bought from Dollar Tree, but Ivani just ended up giving it out to all the kids. She has no patience. And Grandma gave her her birthday present, and she was teaching her how to like do latch hooks slash embroidery stuff. And it was really cute. I actually brought my own embroidery along and was working on that. I'm so bummed. It is fall. Ivani could be wearing her denim jacket and I still don't have all the flowers embroidered. So I got to get on that. It's just uh, taken longer than I anticipated. And then on Sunday, we woke up to a rainy, dreary day, which was very cozy until we had to pack up and it was still raining. But we enjoyed ourselves so much and just enjoyed our time here at the cabin. And I can't wait to do it again next year. But it was a super fun and relaxing weekend. Too bad we have to wait again till next year. And we did not spend any money either of these two days. At least I did not. I think the guys ran to the grocery store for some ranch and stuff like that. So I don't know, maybe Josh spent some money. I did not. <laughs> Which brings me to the end of the week. I just got done editing this video and I tallied up everything that I spent this week, which comes to a grand total of $334.78. So I don't know what you think of that number. I actually think it's maybe slightly lower than sometimes because we didn't have any repairs. I did not buy gas this week. I didn't even go for a traditional grocery run. Although I will say 80% of the money here was for groceries. If you noticed, it was lots of different specialty foods and things because we were going to the cabin with my family. I was going to a birthday party, all those things. And I feel like it's totally fine to splurge on the good stuff when it comes to your family and friends. I definitely don't shop like that typically during the week, I would say. Try to watch and be a little more budget conscious when I shop just for my family. Um, but yeah, I was amazed going over the credit card statements and stuff. You know, $6 at this produce stand here and $12 at this coffee shop here it can really add up and it doesn't feel like much leaving your pocket but when you add it all up it can really accumulate this is always a really good exercise for me but i will say it's not a true reflection of what we actually spend 
because every week looks so different. I feel like I would need to do this for a month to three months to actually get an accurate portrayal of where our money is going and what we're spending. And I periodically do like to keep track of receipts and things for a whole month. I am not our money manager in our family. Josh takes care of all the credit card statements and all that stuff. So it was really good for me to go over that on my phone, tally things up and make sure I had all the amounts correct. And wow, you do spend money on random stuff like a mop and yeah, just random stuff like that that you don't really take account for. But that doesn't happen every week. You also notice this week I didn't spend any money on clothing. Obviously that has to happen at some point here or there. If you caught me on the week I was getting ready for back to school, I probably would have been spending way more because I was doing back to school clothes and supplies, things like that. So it really can vary a lot. And I will say too, that this is not a total of what I spent. I also give, which I'm not going to include in this. And I also have some business expenses that I did not include, such as paying my sister who comes and babysits and things like that. So that is kind of like a business side of things. And I decided just to leave that out of this video. You guys don't need to know all the particulars, but either way, I hope you found this really fascinating, interesting, and maybe inspiring for you to take account and take inventory of where you're spending money and maybe you'll be shocked maybe you won't maybe you'll be proud of yourself maybe you'll be a little bit chastised it's just a good exercise i feel for all of us so i know these are always super fun videos they're so much work i have been editing all week and it's still not quite done yet. I'm filming this last part here, so I can't do these very often for you, but let me know if you enjoy them. Let me know if anything surprised you down in the comments. Are prices in Lancaster County crazy high, crazy low, pretty average? I would love to hear how it is in different parts of the country for you. Anyway, I'll see you all next week for a cozy fall Q&A, so I'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Bye.